centuries ago, in the lands of Outworld, there was a visceral warlord taking his claim of the land. After many battles, the warlord and his men were defeated by the armies of Shao Kahn, led by his top general, the Shokin Prince, Goro. After his defeat, his evil soul was transported to the Nether Realm. This is where the man no longer existed, and the Oni Tormentor was born. This is the tale of Draman. He comes from the Nether Realm. He's an Oni, a demon from Pell. Skinless guy with his big club for a, a weapon. Because he didn't look anything like a ninja, he didn't look anything like a human being. He was kind of like almost like a strange corpse like feature with a mask on. He always had flies buzzing around him. Draman's basically just this big mound of walking, rotting flesh. Trapped in the fifth plane of the nether realm, Draman finds himself with an uncontrollable, never ending hunger for flesh. After years of feasting on random victims, Draman stumbles across an item that is strangely familiar to the demon. It is the Kung Lo mask, a mask believed to be from Draman's days as a human, it somehow made its way back to its owner in the nether realm. Upon putting on the mask, Draman gains a rush of intelligence that he had cut off from when he became the monster he is. This was the key to Draman's success in the Nether Realm, earning him the nickname of Tormentor. Running low on potential victims to feast upon and torment, Draman meets a like-minded individual, in which he allies himself with. They both figure two hunters are better than one. This ally's name, Moloch. Like Draman, Moloch is an Oni from the Nether Realm. Moloch is one of the Onis. He has a big ball and chain as his weapon. He's more of a brute. One day, Draman and Moloch are solicited by a panicked sorcerer. He asked for their assistance in protecting him against the hellbent ninja specter known as Scorpion. In exchange, the sorcerer promises to help the two Oni escape the Nether Realm. The thought of prospecting mortal flesh intrigues them enough to agree. Though Scorpion was a very powerful spirit, the combined force of Draman and Moloch would prove too much for him with every attempt to approach. With Scorpion seemingly to have fled away, the sorcerer explains that he can open a portal to leave the Nether Realm but that he needs an appropriate power source. Draman, aware of nearby ruins, tells the sorcerer of the location, and they proceed. Once there, the sorcerer discovers text on the ruins, including text that is related to a certain amulet that he had in his possession. The text explained how to use the amulet, at the site, as a type of key to open a portal. However, while the sorcerer was reading the scriptures, they were under attack, once again from the ninja specter Scorpion. Draman and Moloch retained Scorpion once more while the sorcerer fled to a nearby room in the ruins. The sorcerer opens a portal that is flashing random locations of Outworld, and he proceeds to jump through. Scorpion managing to escape the grip of Draman and Moloch, he proceeds to chase after the sorcerer and jumps through the portal after him. Draman and Moloch then come to the realization that they had been deceived and left behind, yet unknowingly to the sorcerer, the portal remained open for enough time for Draman and Moloch to escape into the outworld realm as well. Initially, Moloch and Draman had a deal with Quan Chi that he would help them escape the nether realm if they were to protect him from Scorpion. Do not fail! But he escaped the Nether Realm and left them there, and they're really pissed. So now that Moloch and Dramin have escaped the Nether Realm, they have a vendetta against Quan Chi. Quan Chi is one of the most mystifying characters to me. We really don't know what his origins are, other than he's from the Nether Realm and he's part of the Brotherhood of Shadow. Who knows how old he is? You know, he could be as old as the nether realm itself. But he is definitely evil. He is definitely an evil guy.
Shraman and Moloch find themselves near a forest in Outworld. This place having some vague sense of familiarity to Draman, they decide to hide out in this forest, snatching any poor mortals that dare to tread too close to the tree line. Eventually, a different sorcerer known as Shang Tsung, he had learned of the Sony presence. Upon approaching them, Sung showed off an example of his power. This made Draman and Moloch yield, allowing Sung the chance to speak with them. They tell Shang Tsung how they got to this realm because of the sorcerer Guo Qi, but that he had deceived them, and now they wish to destroy him. Shang Tsung, who had already allied himself with Quan Chi, seeing the opportunity to exploit Draman and Moloch, in case Chi decides to deceive him. Keeping his alliance with Chi a secret from the Oni, he makes a deal with them, promising to help bring Chi to them. In return, he wanted them to remain concealed, as not to cause unnecessary trouble. In the meantime, Sung also agrees that he will sacrifice mortals to them to appease their appetite. Shang Tsung, he is the symbol of evil for Mortal Kombat. He's always around. Shang Tsung teams up with the sorcerer Quan Chi, and the both of them not only kill Liu Kang, but they kill Shao Kahn as well. Scorpion had tracked down the Oni, Draman and Moloch, in hopes of finding Gua Chi amongst them. He did not, but an encounter happened nonetheless. In the encounter, Draman and Moloch once again are able to overpower the ninja specter. However, knowing his flesh is no good, Draman came up with an alternative way to dispose of the specter. The Oni threw the specter into a well of souls located in Shang Tsung's palace, a source of Tsung's power. Scorpion was torn apart by the purity of the souls, as this funnel of souls was connected to the heavens, and the souls recognized Scorpion as a being of the nether realm. As Draman and Moloch return and remain in the pits of Shang Tsung's palace, they were unaware of the events that would occur above them. After the alliance of Shang Tsung and Guo Qi had defeated every challenger before them, including the Thunder God, Raiden, there was the return of the former ruler of Outworld, the Dragon King, Onaga. Recognizing the greater threat, Raiden temporarily allies himself with the sorcerers, and the three attempt to fend off the Dragon King. Realizing their attacks were futile, Raiden, in a desperate attempt to end all the threats, sacrifices his current being with a massive magical blast. His sacrifice, however, was in vain, as the Dragon King remained. The crater that was left from this event is believed to be what caused the destruction of Draman and Moloch, sending them back to the nether realm where they came from. From there, there is little known of the actions of these Oni, aside from a recorded confrontation between a demigod known as Taven, and the Oni tormentor, Draman. Taven is an Adinian half-god. His father is a god, like Raiden. His mother is a mortal sorceress. That looks like mother having one of her visions. And this must be father speaking with the elder gods. These sleeping figures might be my brother and I. He has a brother, Dagon, and he and his brother have been put on a quest by their parents that may ultimately save the realms from Armageddon. Draman had attacked Taven, but he was able to fend off the demon. Draman, figuring it was more trouble than it was worth, he fled the scene, and that was the last known event involving Draman. That is, until the timeline reset. After a timeline reset induced by the Thunder God Raiden, going back about 20 years prior, Draman never escaped the Nether Realm. He still meets Quan Chi, however he becomes a follower of Chi. After being displeased with the failures of the Oni, Chi destroys both Moloch and Draman, and believed to have absorbed their essences. May we one day, somehow some way, see the return of the Oni Tormentor, Draman? 
for now, this is where his tale comes to a rest in the legends, of Mortal Kombat.